This is an overview of how to create and add a new record to the ANS collection registry. Once you've logged in and opened Manage Records, there are two places to create a new record. The first is under My Data. The second is to press the Add a New Record button. In either case, you'll need to select a creation template for the right type of record. On the left is an icon for the record type, and on the right, a small question mark icon, which will take you to more information about each of the record classes. We'll add a collection. First you'll be prompted to complete information required for record administration. This includes a record key. If you don't have a predefined key structure, then you can use the Generate Random Key button. You choose a data source, a group, and a collection type. If you're in any doubt about what these elements mean, the question mark icon links to detailed information in the Content Provider's Guide. We've made this collection a data set, so we've completed the elements and we can now add a new collection. From this point we can start working through each of the menu items on the left to create a rich record. The conventions of building a record are similar for each element. Let's go to the Names element tab. By way of orientation, note that there's always a Help button over on the right. Whenever you see a question mark, such as the icon next to the Names element, you'll be sent to the relevant information in the Content Providers Guide. The orange squares indicate that the content is required or mandatory. The blue squares indicate the content is recommended. The Save and Validate button will save your record and provide you with feedback on your draft. We'll come back to that in a moment. But note that the Same button is available beneath the elements on the left. Let's give our collection a primary name. Should we want to add an abbreviated name, we can add a name and choose a type. You can delete an element or part of an element by clicking the red X. You can use the previous or next tab buttons to move back and forth between the elements or you can simply press the element names. You can also exit without saving. This takes you back to your records. If I choose a pre-populated record to save and validate, you'll see that your record has been saved. You can publish your record, or if it's required in your workflow, submit the record for assessment. You can preview the display of your record in Research Data Australia. You can access a quality level report to see how you could improve your record. You can see that I can keep editing from the left hand menu. Or if you've finished editing, you can go back to managing your records. If you want to know more about managing your records, watch the video in this series entitled How to Manage Your Records.